Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to our farmhouse. In today's video, I figured I would do a little day in the life just to kind of give you guys a peek into what a typical day looks like around here for us. Um, if you are brand new to my channel, my name is Becca. Uh, I'm a registered dietitian. I'm very passionate about nutrition, very passionate about cooking healthy food. There's a lot here um, about that on my channel, um, but I'm also a mom to three. My oldest is four. I have a two year old and then an almost nine month old. So life is a little bit crazy around here, but we love it. Um, my husband is actually home with us um, 24 seven. So we are together all the time. We homeschool my oldest, so it's just, Life is bursting here in this house, but in the best way possible. Um, we also live on a small farm. Um, we've got some chickens and some goats and some cats and a dog, and we just got new baby chicks. So just a lot of exciting things happening here um, on our little farm here this spring. So I am about to get going with my work day. The way things usually work around here is Matt, um, we have breakfast together, you know, our whole like morning routine, and then Matt takes um, the girls, and then sometimes Bo, or he'll stay with me, um, he goes down for a nap soon in the morning anyway, and he kind of takes the kiddos while I can focus for a few hours, and that is where I get majority of my work done, if not all of it. Um, I try and be as efficient as I can and knock out as much as I can in the morning. And then after nap time and quiet time, I am kind of back into mom mode. I like to put my phone away, the laptop away. I really don't like to work um, you know, around my kids or in front of my kids. Um, I just try and be as present as possible with them. It's also when we do a little bit of schooling and we do have a lot of fun in the kitchen in the afternoon. So that's kind of like what we, our routine looks like. Um, so I'm about to get started with my work day. Um, but before I do that, I just have a couple things I want to get going. I have a little bit of laundry I need to get started. Um, and I also want to get some, um, like sandwich sourdough sandwich bread going. There is definitely a lot on my plate. Life is busy. Um, and I recently have gotten so much more organized. I feel like after having the third kid, I've just had to. And I actually, um, some of you guys might laugh, but I literally made myself like a binder, like a life binder. I have my mom master list, like all of the mom things, housework, food, prep, all of that. I also have my work master list. Um, and this has literally saved my life. I was thinking about doing a video soon on like how I organize my life, how I organize all of that, how I kind of get it all done um, as best I can. So if you guys want to see a video on all of that, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know. tip for you guys because I just realized I need to throw this in the wash. Um, Bo, who's my nine month old, had a, can you see this? 
I don't want to drip this <laughs> anywhere but the sink. Had a blowout in his pants yesterday. That kid has so many blowouts. But if you've never heard this tip, it's the best ever. So after he like poops all over his clothes, I just rinse them off in the sink, let them sit in cold water until like the next load of laundry is going in. I throw them in the wash. I don't put them in the dryer, but then what I do is just straight out of the wash, lay them outside in the sunshine. You will be shook. It will completely rid the stain. You don't have to scrub. You don't have to use a stain remover. Just lay it out in the sun and the stain will be completely gone and like pretty quickly. Okay, another laundry tip that I do every day or every day I do laundry. Okay, so this is what I just put in there. It's called Luscious Lemon. It is like the best spring spring blend. It's very like clean and fresh. It's got lemon obviously, but it also has, it's like florally, it has um, mintiness to it. It's just so, so good. It's like the only thing I've been diffusing in my house for probably like three weeks. And if you're watching this in real time, you can get um, this blend, you can get this um, diffuser, it's ceramic. It makes so much mist, it's kind of hard to see against this white wall. Um, but it's such a nice, like beautiful diffuser. Um, and you can also get, I think I have them over here, let's see. Um, Jade Lemon, this oil, which kind of smells like lemon lime, um, if you can imagine that. It's super like citrusy and so good for spring. And then also it comes with vanilla as well, which everyone knows what that smells like. So dreamy. Um, and you can use this in your diffuser. Any of these are really good on dryer balls. You can mix them together. You can use them separate. And it also comes with three bottles of the Luscious Lemon hand soap. So it's still, it's that same smell, but it's the hand soap version. And we love these. They are at most of our sinks. And I love that soap so much. Much. And if you're watching this again in real time in April, um, you can get that bundle for 10% off. And then if your order is like 200 PV or more, so if you add more to it, um, which is like kind of like $200, you then get, you unlock 20% off. So that's just something really exciting that's happening this month. I love this oil bu bundle. That's that one oil I use all the time. And if you don't have oils yet, I feel like it would be like a really, really good place to start because everything smells good. It's such a pretty diffuser. You can start using the hand soaps. So I will link that down below. Okay, you guys, so it's bread time. I just pulled out my mixer and um, I'm gonna be making sourdough sandwich bread. So I've been making this bread for, I think like a month now. I make it two loaves every week and that is like the bread that we eat. We have completely finally gotten away from buying bread from the store which there's there's nothing wrong with buying bread from the store but i prefer the homemade version i prefer a sourdough version um i like that i know all the ingredients that are in there and there's nothing added that isn't like a just a standard ingredient that you know my great grandmother would have available um but also it saves so much money because when we would go to the store you know we would buy we would go to the bakery section which is typically like the, the place you're gonna find like maybe like the highest quality bread ingredient wise and that's where we would buy our bread. Um, and it was tasty and I, you know, I liked what it was made with, um, but it's very expensive. So to be able to do this myself, um, it saves us money, I think it tastes better. And this is the best sourdough sandwich bread that I have come across. It is from this book, I love this book. Melissa K. Norris um, is like a wealth of knowledge when it comes to cooking from scratch, gardening, like homesteading, all of it. Um, she's got a great podcast, I love her website. I've learned a lot from her. Um, but I bought this book a couple, a few years ago actually, and I've just like kind of gotten back into it recently. So it's her sourdough sandwich bread recipe. Um, I've made it so many times that I just have it written down so it's easy for me to reference. Um, but I'll link this book down below. Really, really like it. So last night I already, and one thing I love about it, um, I should mention is I can use totally fresh ground, straight whole wheat flour. I feel like most sandwich breads like either are all purpose flour or you need to like add a little bit of whole wheat and mostly all purpose flour, something like that, which I use all purpose flour. Um, like we always have it on hand. Um, we definitely use it. But if we're gonna have like, if we're gonna be eating this bread like every day or you know very regu regularly, I would much rather get the fresh ground whole wheat, which is far superior nutrition wise, um, because the longer flour sits, it, you know the, the nutrients will eventually start to degrade. So the fresher it is, the more nutritious it is essentially. I've done a whole video on this, I can link it in the cards. But um, I would much rather use this flour if I can 
and it turns out so good. Like it's still pretty light and fluffy. It's not super dense, which I usually find with when I use this flower, especially like straight this flower. Um, it has like a nice crumb. It slices evenly. It doesn't fall apart. It's just it's just really good. It's my favorite bread I found. So I um, already ground this up. I did it last night um, in case I had a chance to start the bread this morning before everybody was up because that can be a little loud. I can also link my grain mill down below. I love my grain mill. It's like one of my favorite kitchen appliances. Um, so let's get started. So bread is done. I'm about to jump into the work I need to do today. Matt took the girls out for errands and Bo is down for his morning nap. So it's very quiet in the house right now, which is so nice. So I have a video to film. I have a bunch of work I need to do just sitting down on my computer. Um, a lot of tasks to get done. So I'm gonna jump into that and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm back. We're having some lunch. Matt got the kids lunch, they're all eating. And I am gonna make myself um, like a burrito bowl. I just cooked up some brown rice in the Instant Pot. Um, we have leftover like taco salsa chicken. Um, and then I've got some salsa. I'm gonna put um, sauerkraut on it, which some people might think is gross, but I actually love sauerkraut on basically anything. But on a burrito bowl, it's like just adds crunchy. I don't have, um, fresh lettuce, so that's what I'm using instead. Um, and then I have avocado. I'm just gonna throw all that together and that's gonna be my lunch.
Okay guys, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon. Um, the girls are both down from nap and quiet time. Bo is going down for a nap now. And this is the time of day where um, we typically do school. Um, so my oldest is four, she's a little over four. So she's in preschool. What school looks like for us is a lot of just play, free play, whether it's inside or especially tons of time outside now that it's starting to get nicer out. Um, we spend a lot of time, um, the girls especially spend a lot of time outside. Also just tons of reading. We read a lot um, to them, Hayden especially. She loves like chapter books. She will sit, you could read to her like <laughs> until your vo voice goes hoarse and then you're like forced to stop. She will just sit there and listen. She loves, loves, loves to be read to. Um, we love the Magic Treehouse books. Uh, we love Roald Dahl books. We just got the Little House on the Prairie set. So those kinds of books are what she is like really interested in. And so we do tons and tons of reading. We also do um, a couple times a week, like sit down, more traditional school. Um, we have this preschool workbook. This is the good and the beautiful. We really like it. Um, I've had no issues with it. She really seems to enjoy it. So that's like learning letters and letter sounds um, and some numbers. It's, it's mostly like kind of laying the foundation for learning to read. We have like a science book from them. It's like science stories. She loves those. Um, we'll sometimes read poems or I'll read from just like interesting. Um, we have like some animal books, um, stuff like that. We also do, and I consider this school, we also do a lot of things together in the kitchen. So I will just kind of bring her along with me whether we're making sauerkraut or we're making yogurt or you know we're baking or whatever it is i like to bring her um into that as well i mean it's just it's like a lot for um their little brains to kind of like learn and figure out and a lot of um like coordination is involved fine motor skills so that is like what school looks like for us um and it's very laid back she's only in preschool um but we really love it so now um, we're actually going to sit down and do some lessons today and then we're probably going to go outside because it is beautiful out and i cannot wait to get out in the fresh air New baby chicks. You want to hold one? This is our brooder. We have this like room on the side of our barn that is just all by itself. So it's kind of the perfect spot for the chicks. And they obviously have um, a brooder heater, so they're nice and toasty warm in here. Um, and no predators can get in. It's just a really good spot for them. We've got 14. New baby chicks. We have, we have Buff Orpingtons, which are my. Okay, you want to hold one? Okay, Buff Orpingtons are my favorite chickens. 
Um, we have some just white leghorns, very standard white chicken that lays white eggs. They're good layers. Um, not fancy, but they do lay a lot of eggs. And then we have some black sex links, which we've never had those before. So those are new to us. So those are our new chickies this year, which is very exciting. Okay, you guys, so I just came in. We just came inside. And as an experiment with these loaves, I put them on. We have this radiator. I'll show you in a second. We have this radiator um, in our house that I don't know if it used to be a plate rack or like a towel warmer, but it's kind of like the perfect spot. I put my sourdough starter here a lot if I want it to bubble up faster. Um, so in this experiment, I put the bread on here to proof. And uh, I would say it's definitely proofed. Um, they are exploding on the top. It hasn't even been like the minimum proofing time. So I, I didn't really expect this to happen this quickly because this is like, this is barely warm. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna bake them and see what happens here. But they are, yeah. Oopsie. All right, Hayden and I are headed out. Where are we going? Yeah, he has dance class tonight. So we're gonna take him to dance and then we get home. What are we gonna do when we get home? Eat dinner. Dinner? <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, I just dropped Hayden off at dance. I came back, I'm gonna sit in the car. I brought um, one of the books I'm currently reading and I'm just gonna enjoy about 45 minutes of pure silence <laughs> and reading. Uh, Matt and I usually switch off who takes her to dance because it's like, truly a treat uh, to have some quiet time during the day. It's very rare. So I'm going to read my book, hang out for a little bit, and then go back inside when her class is almost done. Okay, you guys, we are back from dance. The bread is out of the oven. <laughs> Definitely um, came over the side, but I think otherwise it's fine. We were tasting the bread that kind of poured over. I think it might be a little bit interesting getting him out of the tins or the pans, but otherwise I think it's gonna be fine. But now I know I'm gonna use that radiator. You need to keep a cl really close watch, obviously. <laughs> anyway, so we're about to have dinner. We desperately need to grocery shop. Um, we're working off of just what we have in our pantry and freezer, which is Pasta, red sauce, ground beef. Normally I would make some kind of roasted vegetable to go with that or a salad, but we literally have neither of those things right now. We need to grocery shop so badly. So that's what we're having for dinner. And then it's just gonna be getting kids down for bed, hanging out, relaxing before we go to bed. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of more vlog style peek into our life, let me know in the comments down below or let me know any other video you'd like to see from me. That's all I have for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Girls, you wanna say bye? Bye. Bye.